All right. I'm about to put together uh, a reproductive anatomy review. Um, this is going to be really quick. It's for those people who have studied over quite a bit of this material, but you still need a, a quick refresher. Um, so here we go. So we're looking at a model right now, the female reproductive system. It's actually a posterior view. So we've got the rectum, which can be seen here. We've got the uterus, which can be seen here. And then also we see that these pink structures here are the fallopian tubes, which are commonly referred to as the fallopian tubes or the uterine tubes. Uh, also looking at this, underneath we have the ovarian ligaments, which are attached to the ovaries on both sides. These uh, feather-like projections that you see here on the sides, those things are fimbriae. Now, remember that an ovary, uh, it has follicles located in it, and uh, this little blue dot is representing a ovarian follicle. Let's pretend that this is a graphene follicle, and then that graphene follicle ovulates. Well, then, of course, that secondary oocyte is released, and then it gets caught by the fimbriae and then rides into the fallopian tube, which, of course, is made up of three segments. We've got the infundibulum, the ampulla, and the isthmus, which then, uh, if it meets with some sperm cells, uh, fertilization takes place. Uh, we're skipping several steps, but then ultimately uh, that zygote uh, is, is formed and ultimately uh, we'll see implantation take place inside the uterus.